Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our campaign in Stainless Steel Historical Improvement Project as Big Venice, the Supreme Dogies of Venice. Let's go. And last time we were attacked by both Serbia and Byzantium, of course, of Rome, which is uh, yes, not very ideal, I've got to say, especially when they are, you know attacking us up there which is really really bad to be fair i think we can go and retake it though with this army if we get chance with conciliar domenico the heir elect and yeah but we do have to fight this battle if possible now i have found out what is the issues with the crashes so it seems there is an issue with NVIDIA graphics cards and siege battles. So, you know, we run these siege battles at our own risk, guys. But uh, let's get into it anyway. And let's play this battle. Let's get over the walls and kill these rebels. Right then, here we go, guys. We are just going to try and get up on the walls as usual. In fact, we're going to run for this wall here. It's a little bit damaged, though. So let's go. We've got this little unit up here. That's just Axemen. So let's get up on the walls there too. And let's see what we can do. We're going to bring our spearmen forward as well. Going to bring these guys forward slightly. What do we have on the walls here though? We've got the Vlak Axemen. And that's it. There's nothing really over there. So these guys should have a nice little time getting up on the walls this way we're also going to bring you guys up there too so where i'm sure didn't we okay yeah there they are i was gonna say where are the spearmen <laughs> where be the spearmen my they friends have the walls with their ladders. they have reached the walls glorious get up on the walls and fools they are pretty much just completely garrisoning the walls i believe this is their general Vlestilici Chi Voynich. Yes. Perfectly pronounced. What a glorious looking unit. But slab levies as well. Lots of arrows being fired, as you can see. Uh, we've got a lot of mercenaries in this army. But we should be okay. I don't, you know. Uh, I think we'll get a little bit of money from occupying this place. Whether we can defend Zara is a different question. I don't think we'll be able to. But I think we'll be able to defend here. So that's going to be the main thing. Can we defend this settlement instead? So we're going to get up on top here with these boys. Then what I want to do is ideally get these archers up there. Get going. And I want you guys to get there too. You guys can go after the Vlak Axemen. And the Spearmen. Let's get you like over there. Is that everyone? Okay, yeah. That's everyone up on the walls. Good. Right, we're going to send you through to fight the Levy Crossbowmen, if you can. Go on, guys. Go, go, go. I know you're not all up on the, on the walls yet. We should be okay. Should be a pretty easy win over there. Who are these guys? So we have Balkan Archers. Cool. Well, I think we use our cavalry like we have done previously as well. Okay. No, 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 no. That's silly. That's very silly, my friends. That's very silly. Okay, defeat seems certain for them, so that's good. Everyone just get on the walls. What are you doing, man? Well, can we... I don't know whether we can actually... Can we walk past that? No, we can't. Ah! Right then. Okay, we'll get down that way. That's fine. And then we'll go around. Then we'll send these Black Axemen in to fight the levies. Because, like I say, they're, they are mercenaries, so... Losing a few of them will not be too much of a worry for now. These guys need to get in the fight. Come on, kill them. Kill them all. Right, let's speed it up because, as usual, it is just, you know, chilling for now. Where are these guys? How are you getting shot, man? Right, get up there. Actually, no. Go fight the contra, contra boy. Wait, these guys are actually quite good. I think. And we have more Vlak Axemen. Well, I think we want you to get in there. So you go kill them. You guys kill them too. And what do we have here? Let's go kill those Balkan archers. Kill them. 
Kill them. There we go. Let's slow it down slightly. We don't need it to be this fast, do we? Uh, what do we have here? I think the best place to shoot at them is from over there. So the archers are all in the right place, really. How are you guys dying so much? What do we have up this way? Give There's a black axeman. God. We have a captured the enemy's walls. They have a captured the enemy's walls, my friends. A captured. Right. Let's get down. Let's also get these archers over here too. Go on, boys. Let's get going. Let's get going. There we go. We killed those slav levies yet. Not quite. Right. Let's all kill the contrapoi. But these guys, let's kill the red levy crossbowmen then. And then what do we have? All we have is Balkan archers and their general. We'll leave our cavalry for now. I think they're okay. They don't need to be used, do they? Guys, can you, like, kill them? What are, what are some of you doing, bro? There we go. Kill them all. Have we killed those guys? I think we have. Right. Let's get through then. All the way through the walls. Those guys are just... They were, I thought they, they were just standing there for a second. I was like, what are you doing? I mean, if we can go and fully surround these boys, that should not be bad at all. Let's have a look. Yeah. Get in there, Vlax. Get in there. What do we have? We've got you guys as well. Not the greatest of units, but it's okay. Ah, look at that. Wait, are we fighting? Yeah, we're fighting Contrapoi, but we are getting shot by the Balkan archers. Very good. We shall accept that for now. And like I say, I want to get the Vlak Axemen in to more of the fight here. So I want them to be charging down this way. And then what I want to do is pop my archers. Are you guys coming? Okay. Weird. Like, can you? Can some of you go? Like, rather than just stood there doing fuck all? That would be nice. And you were the two. Right, now they start running again. Okay, good, 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 good. Right, have we killed these guys yet? They are breaking. Right then. Let's go. We've got Levy Crossbowman. We're just going to charge these guys in. Because these guys over here should be ready to go very soon. What do we have? Archers. You should be able to fire, guys. Got your last guy. Unless there's more of you. No, there's not more. <laughs> what are these guys doing, man? Why are you running against the wall, bro? Right, let's go. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Just get around that goddamn corner and stop being fools. And we'll bring these guys forward too. There we go. Go on, the boys. Let's go. Charge. 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 Everyone charge. You guys will get you here. Oh, I should bring this guy in just to, like, do a charge. Because, like we said before, we need to get the general to have a little bit of a charge or two. Just in the fight. Just so that he doesn't become a coward. No cowards allowed, my friends. No cowards allowed. Right, charge through those boys. And then we're going to stand our archers right here. Just to fire into the back of the general. Very nice. I do love the methodical nature of these fights here. I think it's really fun. Right, get off that. We don't need you on skirmish mode at all. Goddamn, kill these guys. Kill these fools. You killed them? I, how? Come on, how hard is this guy? Kill him. <laughs> For God's sake. I think the Black Axemen are going to really struggle here, but like I say, it's okay. Where be the general? Come on, general. Get through to the center. Let's go. Right, these guys have won now. So what I want to do is kind of do this. Let's go and let's get these guys nicely behind to fire into the enemy. And we'll just hold the town square there. But we'll get the general through to charge the Balkan archers. So just to, just to make sure that he has, you know, engaged in the fight at some point during the battle. Praise the saints. Our men have taken the curses. Our men no longer command the There, city. get in the fight. Just get in the fight, General, and then we'll get you out. Not a problem. These guys don't want to fire now. That's, that's the unfortunate thing. There we go. Kill them, and then we just need to kill the Balkan archers. 
Enemy general has fallen now. Glorious. Oh, wait. There's, uh, there's these guys. Where did they even come from? Run down those well, a glorious victory. We killed not a huge amount more than we lost. But it's okay, guys. It's okay. And we've taken another settlement. I'm sure that's going to help our reputation. Well, there we go. Let's just occupy the settlement. There's Raucion. Unfortunately, we don't have enough money to... Wait. To repair this. 640 florins we need. And it's been renamed to... Oh, sorry, guys. Raucion. I also wanted to thank you guys for all your tips. Especially Storm and a few others. Thank you for all of your tips and tricks, guys. I'm going to try and put them into account like apparently like we don't need this many sergeant spearmen are really good units like we don't need this many um so i could merge those two i mean although upkeep 300 is, is not that bad actually 620 for a full unit uh but yeah some of these knights like it's a good job we lost some knights because basically you know everyone's been saying we don't need this many troops everywhere Oh, but there's... Oh, my God. There's the Roman army. With Pro-Nairoi. Contararoi. Ah, can we defend against that? I don't think so. But anyway, oh, the movement speed is so fast in this with the map. Woo! <laughs> I can turn it down, obviously. Um, right then. Anyway, guys, let's end the turn there. And let's keep an eye down here so we can see what actually happened. Well, I thought this might happen. Uh, and they only have one ram, but look at that balance of power. If we auto-resolve, there's a chance we win. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's a low chance. <laughs> well, the mission we were doing as well, therefore, has expired. Five provinces conquered. My lord, it's been a while you're ruling this world and you've recorded a stream of successes. You've conquered five provinces. Hmm. <laughs> do we accept this bride? I think we do. That's going to cost us money, though. Yeah, we've we've uh, we've had a look at that administrative education before. They sacked Zara. What bastards! What horrible bastards! Disgusting, disgusting behaviour. Trait increase, marital ties, of course. That's cost us a grand. And we've got a guy come of age. Oh, glorious. What is your... You are administrative-minded, not military-minded. A bit rough, this guy. Though he could be loved, no woman's fantasy looks anything like he does. Oh, well, that's mean. That's mean. Well, at least he got a, a bride anyway. Um... But yeah, I mean, he's administratively minded, just like this guy. The problem is, you know, we don't have many cities. Orders, one. This guy is also administratively minded. The High Treasurer. Wow. That's insanely good. Well, let's give it to Giovanni Polani. Yes. There he is, the High Treasurer. Uh, we need another city, though. Raucion is a city. Hmm. I, like I say, I kind of want peace. I, I want to build up my forces and my empire. Take things slowly, guys. This is the main takeaway I've had from the mods so far. Just take things slowly. Don't be silly. Don't be, like, crazy with your troops. Um, I think we'll leave the foot knights for now. We don't need to spend money on that. Yes. These ships can go into yes, that dock there. And I do want to retake Zara, though. That's the one thing I want to do, is retake Zara. So we've got a clean border here. I don't want them coming and, you know, besieging Ven Venice. That would be pretty darn awful, really, wouldn't it? Uh, but yeah, I think that's, uh, that's the only thing we want to do. 47% Catholic here, so it's not going to be very happy at all. So I'm... Hmm, we need to leave some money in the treasury. I would like to build a church, but we'll do that next turn, guys. So let's end the turn again. Wow, the king of France is a dead. The best place for a king of France to be. <laughs> yes, older generals will be much less useful for combat. Also for governing provinces. Too old to fight. Senile. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. 
Well, Venice, we did build something relatively decent. We built the stonemasons, which should bring us some more money. And over here, let's build the church. Try and convert this area to a bit more Catholic. They have woodsmen, levy crossbowmen. They do have knights here too. Uh, let's have a look at the town. Is there anything we do want to destroy? No, the carpenter's workout workshop is pretty good. We've got a town watch that does allow the woodsmen and all. They've got a small church, so that's okay. But is that... Yeah, I was going to say landowners' guards... Awesome, that's pretty good building. Wells and and uh, some farms, etc. But again, we don't really have enough money to do anything else apart from maybe retrain some troops. I think once we've retrained those troops, it's definitely worth going and taking Zara back. Because Zara was actually making us a decent amount of money. We've We've got pretty much no money now. Um, so, yeah. Also, where is our diplomat? Let's see. Do you want an alliance? Just rejected. We are so still dubious. They're also dubious, which is, you know, okay. Uh, apparently the Pope is neutral. We can't talk to the Pope, but I, I do want an alliance with the Pope. That would be, you know, very good. Uh, but anyway... Uh, let's end the turn again, guys. And as I say, we're going to be just trying to take it slow. Build up nice and slowly. We will move our armies next turn. So, uh, yeah, that should be good. The second Lateran Council. So, basically, they don't want us to use crossbows. But that means we can use crossbows. Ha-ha! <laughs> hmm... It is quite easy to recruit knights and servants of the military orders. One way is to join the crusade and recruit volunteers present in the province. Uh, another way is to build chapter houses and recruit troops from that building. However, this may happen only after the order has been established. Mind the historical events popping by. This is possible also only in specific provinces where historically it was possible to do so. Furthermore, to recruit the order's troops, the faction has to have good relations with the Pope and enjoy not horrible reputation in the diplomatic world. Okay. A provincial council of clergy has been called. You priests and monks wish to make an effort, travel, and attend. They need support, though. It will cost 3,000 florins, but may aid your priests in attaining spiritual wisdom. Yes. Cool. Well, we'll do that. I'm hoping that might make our reputation be a little bit better. I mean... Is that wishful thinking? I think so. We've also been sieged down by this monstrous army. But I have some dirty tactics that we can maybe use against those guys. What I'm thinking that we do is send... Hmm. Well, how quickly can we get on the ships? Like, can you get off the ships there? Is that... Wait, you can't actually go anywhere. Oh, god damn. Well, we'll leave you there for now. Uh, that'll be two turns rather than three to get there. That's going to cost us quite a bit of cash. So, again, we can't build anything once again, which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. It also means we can now recruit the levy crossbowmen pretty much everywhere, which is very good indeed. Also, let's have a look. We've got you in here, Mr. Bolani. Kind of want to put you in Bologna because that has a school. Do we have a school in Venice, though? But the Basilica de San Marco, very nice. Oh, we showed that at, right at the start, didn't we? What? Wait, we've got a library, so we should have a school. Oh, we do have a school. So, yeah, we will keep this here. Provincial aristocracy, good. Fantastic. Uh, obviously, the church is not going to complete while they are sieging it down. But let's have a look at our crowning requirements again. I mean, at this point, I'm kind of thinking, like, Italy would be easier to go for. Although, we'll have to fight two Catholic factions to do that. And do we want to fight two Catholic factions? Probably not. Where be the diplomat? He was going to speak to the old Bopa. What about map information as well? Just every time, man. Every time. I'll give you like 500 gold, brother. No! 
You absolute bastards. Well, what I'm thinking of doing then is sending the diplomat to Serbia. God, it takes them so long to move. Come on, diplomat. Get some, get, get some speed up, you fool. In fact, we'll jump him across onto the boats. Uh, but yeah. And like it says in the thing... <laughs> Sorry, that, that, that uh, yeah, <laughs> that voice. Um, but yeah, we'll jump him across here, and I think Serbia is orthodox, right? I think they are orthodox. Let's have a look at the Pope. Is Serbia on here? Does not look like it at all, no. So, yeah, no, yeah, definitely not, so... So yeah, they're not going to get ordered by the Pope to stop fighting us, which is a little bit annoying, but whatever. That's fine. I hope this guy gets some good traits. Farming knowledge, can tell a tale, schooled. Oh, now, now he is schooled, so 5% income and trade income. Fantastic. Glorious. Well, anyway, let's end the turn there, guys, and hopefully our priests will come back with a better reputation for us. <laughs> Ah, Crash Spheres of Influence, guys. So I don't think we've actually read this one. Taking settlements will usually make your rivals angry. However, there are certain provinces that are perceived to be yours by default. Conquering such provinces is seen as legitimate and your reputation will not be damaged by such acts. These provinces are highlighted with a darker color in the map on the faction panel. Bear in mind that there are some particular settlements whose conquest may spark the ire of other interested factions irrespective of the sphere of influence system. Be aware of your conquests have political ramifications as well. It is wise to ally oneself with factions that do not share any claim to the same ancestral lands. Yeah, okay, but how do we find out their ancestral lands? That's what I want to know. Like, how do we find that out? Um, join the crusade. We've got four turns to do that. Balancia, where the hell? What? No, I am not crusading into Spain, brother. That, that, is, that is awful. That is not good. I, I'm not crusading into Spain. I mean, that might actually get my... Reputation up. Commercial conqueror for this guy is making 3,000 florins a turn. I mean, if we lost any of these guys, we would be screwed, genuinely. Bologna now has a port as well, which is excellent, though. Also, this guy, he's making 1,100. Is there anywhere that has, like, gold? That would be quite good. What's this guy? 168. I mean, that's, that's definitely not worth it, I don't think. So we'll keep him there for now. Uh, okay. Hmm. I mean, I'm going to join the Crusade, obviously. Well, you guys can get there. But let's first of all jump off the ships, attack Zara. Let's also check where those settlements were. So the settlements marked darker. Like, I'm surprised we've got a dubious reputation then, because looking at this, the darkest, I mean, they all look pretty dark. Um, so I think it's these four, right? These four look darker. And then on this map, it pretty much just looks like everything. Hmm. They don't look any darker on here. Darker. No, I, I don't know. I don't know. They, they all look pretty much the same color to me on that map. But anyway, they ran away from Raucion, which is good. Now, in terms of the Crusades, can I just join the Crusade and still just fight Byzantium? I think, because I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> the Pope might be a little bit upset. But it's okay. It's okay, my friends. It's okay. Um, right then. In Venice, shall we get the next level of church? Probably. The public gallows looks quite good, but yeah, I, I don't think we need any law in Venice. It's fine. But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. And diplomat, actually, we need a pop our diplomat. Let's pop him across. Oh, goddamn. 
cannot sail there. Withdraw, withdraw. Closing to My poor diplomat is going to die. Yes. Can we even train a diplomat? We can, but we've reached the limit of the agents. <laughs> Great. I would also love to build a chapter house, a St. John's chapter house. Where is that? Yeah, St. John's chapter house. That should allow us to recruit crusader guys, right? So that'll be pretty cool. But anyway, let's end the turn for now. Like I said, I don't want to keep on expanding down this coast. If we have a look here, like, although, yeah, we do need those two settlements. So we basically need Albania and Epirus. Hmm. So I do need to take that settlement if I want to get crowned. But for now, we want to chill. So let's press the enter. Okay, so an earthquake has struck Aleppo, unfortunately. Fog of war. Uh, the difficulty of gathering adequate information is conveyed through increased costs of watchtowers and absence of the initial ones. Yeah, reduce sight range for everyone. The sight range bonuses from traits are getting more important and should be sought when possible. Cool. The player may also refrain from checking the composition of an enemy army before battle. Why not? I mean, you would be able to see the army, I guess. The universities, yes, we've done that. We've done that. Very good. The crusade grows. Let's join the crusade soon, though. It's not that far to march all the way to here. It's pretty far, but it's not that far. Verona now got a chapel. Awesome. We've actually got a little bit of cash for once. Also, we're not growing. So, hmm. We need some population growth buildings. Also, one good piece of advice was to build these and then build things around them so that they, you know, just get started, basically. But what I'm thinking is we go for a St. John's chapter house for now. More commercial conquerors. Fantastic. We will gr join the crusade. Don't worry. Don't worry. We will join the crusade, guys. We just need to do this. Hmm. Which army, though? I don't want to take this one. It's so good. In fact, I don't, you know, I don't really want to go on the crusade. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I kind of want to chill. Well, we might combine the armies then. Because this army is definitely a lot worse. So what I might do, if we take Polo, because it looks like the Serbs have gone away for a little bit. So and just take like these units. We're going to take some Vlax on a, uh... Okay, we need to... Yeah, no, we can't leave. We can't leave there. Unless we leave behind these urban spear militia and they're happy. 60%? Not too bad. Let's leave the Vlax Axemen behind. How much is that now? 70%. That's plenty. Um, so, yeah. It's also... This character has too few units to join the Crusade. Ah, okay. We need a few more units. Let's drop you off there. Let's bring you north. And... I would like a levy crossbowman. Let's also get a militia. We'll keep a thousand in the bank. Like I say, it's not... I don't really want to go on crusade. But I don't think it's going to be too bad. I think we'll wait one more turn on this. Because that's a relatively strong army to defend the castle. So, yeah, let's wait for that. Also could do with sending this guy off to govern over here. But, yeah, not, not for now. Let's keep on going. So, let's end the turn there, guys. And let's join the crusade. Okay, cool. So, basically, to become a good farmer, the generals have to spend time in a small town. Which is very interesting. Uh, what settlement? I don't want to take that. Although 8,000 florins is is rather juicy, my friends. <laughs> uh, Pisa has joined the crusade. So let us also join the crusade. Uh, let's pop in some more levy crossbowmen. Let's pop in these guys. And some more levy crossbowmen. And there we go. We can join the crusade. Fantastic. Your pious general has joined the crusade. He has been given 3,000 florins. 
He'll be able to recruit crusading units. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So, how much are they, though? They're relatively expensive. The Pilgrim Militia. Oh, dear. <laughs> they're not They're not the one. Crusader Sergeants, they look pretty good. And then we've got Crusader Foot Knights. And we've got the Great Cross Guards. <laughs> the boys. Crusader Knights as well. I mean the Great Cross Guard. It's so it's so tempting to get that. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> the boys. Uh, but anyway, like to get here, look how lot like look how far we have to march, bro. <laughs> like seems rather silly. Um, like are we actually gonna go on crusade? I don't know. I'm gonna decide on that. Uh, you know, slightly later down the line. For now, let's just. For now, let's march towards Good them orders, one. and hope that we don't get attacked by the goddamn rebels over here. We're a crusading army, guys. Course, we should also just crusade through Byzantium. That would be so funny. <laughs> Properly roleplay, boys. Properly roleplaying Venice. But uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. Um, let's wait one more turn for this battle. So the hospital... Hospitalers take up swords. Cool. So I think that will allow us to get some more. At the start of the campaign, there are very few settlements with positive population growth. I was wondering about that. This does not mean that such settlements cannot grow, but rather that you need to invest money into infrastructure and assign a good governor if you want to establish any stable growth. The reason for this aspect of the game is to more closely model history. And to give the player more control over the settlement's mechanic, there are many buildings available to be constructed, many of which will increase or decrease growth due to their inherent purpose. This gives the player maximum control over the development of their empire. So a province innate fertility, 0.5 to 3% farms. Every plus one point of farming gives half a percent. Buildings providing health, buildings explicitly providing growth, buildings providing happiness. 0.25% growth per one point happiness. That's cool. Trade with other provinces and the general governing the settlement. One point of chivalry provides 0.5 or 1% growth. Up to 6.5% growth for a 10 chivalry general. Wow. That's pretty mad. Obviously, we have joined the crusade. I don't think we're really going to you know, yes. be able to do anything here, but... We might as well go and have a go. Let's try and make the Pope proud of us. Let's just check. Is he any happier with us? No, he just loves France. He just loves France. Of course. And he loves himself. God damn it, man. God damn it. <laughs> this fool. But anyway, let's go after this siege for Zara. Like I said, we're going to try and take our time with everything we do. Wondering whether we go for the Merchant's Wharf here. I think that's going to bring us some extra cash. So we're on 932. How much is that going to bring us? 70 and 3. It's not much really, is it? God damn. How about the market? Again, about 70. That's not ideal. What's this? We've got a collegiate church here. Which is... Lots of religious conversion. That should help with our reputation, shouldn't it? But I don't think... We really need to go for that. I would like to build the library at some point. But first things first, let's... I think we go for the Merchant's Wharf because it's cheaper anyway. So let's do that no matter what. And then let's get into the Siege of Zara, my friend. We've got six rams. That's quite a lot of rams. <laughs> we might not need that many rams. But anyway, let's get into the battle, guys. Tell you what, I love this music. It is so cool indeed. I really do like it. Let's uh, get slightly forward with these guys. I'm hoping we can fire over the walls. And uh, let's go. Let's kill all of these boys. We've got the General's Bodyguard in here, wasn't it? Yeah, General's Bodyguard, Heavy Cavalry. Mostly levies and spearmen. I really don't think this is going to be an issue. If we use our cavalry like we have done before... I think we'll absolutely ruin everyone here. So here, I wonder whether they will charge out of the city like they have done previously. It's not looking like they are going to. But, yeah. For now, it's okay. Let's just chill out for a second and see what they want to do. Looks like they're not doing anything, actually. That's good for us, then. 
Let's bring our spearmen through to attack the scouts. And we're going to send these spearmen, sergeant spearmen, into there to fight the axe militia. We're also going to send our mailed foot knights through. And these guys can come through too. So they're going to run a little bit, which isn't good for them. Slav levies are also not going to be great for us to fight. We're also going to bring our cavalry over here. But for now, it's okay. What are you guys doing? I need to fight those axe militia. You guys can fight the Slavic spearmen. And I think we're going to be okay here. You know, the merch, these guys, although they're fighting the general's bodyguard. Not ideal, but also not terrible either. They are spearmen after all. So even though they're, they're terrible spearmen, you know, they're going to do okay. You guys actually go and fight them. You guys fight the Slavic spearmen here. Guys, can you, like, actually just get forwards? That would be good. We've got our heavy mailed knights here. Who else do we need to fight that's in here? Pretty much just, just uh, archers. So what I'm thinking of doing is bringing the cavalry all the way in again, like usual. We also use the mailed foot knights. Now you guys charge in, guys. There we go. All of you at once. That'll be, that's a lot better than what you were doing previously. Can you, like, attack those Slavic spearmen rather than just doing nothing? <laughs> go on, guys. I know, you're, I know you're slow, but didn't realize you'd be that slow. Right, let's get around with our cavalry. I know they're not going to path very well here, but that's okay. Uh, once they're into that area, we'll just give them an attack order. And they should be able to pretty much just run down these guys. The there we go, guys. Go, 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 go. Go for the attack. Go for the attack. The there we go. We've got Axe Militia that we're fighting. We're trying to... We're, we're pretty much surrounding this little guy and the General's Bodyguard over here. I know the General's Bodyguard is going to be a little bit tough to beat, but... That's okay. We might even take the whole town square before anything else happens. Where are the knights going? Kind of, you know, the knights can just, like, chill here. They, they don't really need to do anything else. Cavalry's on the way. Straight in those, those Bulgarian mercenaries. Should be... Should be a pretty easy fight here. We'll try and run through them. Maybe that'll help. It's literally just Balkan archers and stuff. Now fight the Bulgarian mercenaries. Bang. Yeah, now there we go. We see a little bit of a, a kill. A kill switch turning on. They're still eager, apparently. And they're still firing, so they're not even fighting back against our guys, which is just awesome. <laughs> Silly AI. Silly AI. See, look, they're just, they're just fighting. They're not... They're still eager. They've only got 30 guys. Wow. Uh, what do we have? We've got our arch, our guys here too. I don't think it's worth actually firing. These poor guys are taking a bit of a battering, but it's okay. Like I say, it's good to lose a few men here, I think. Uh, yeah, the Balkan archers. Where are those Bulgarian archers gone? Have they all died? Oh, whatever. Kill those Balkan archers. Let's go, guys. Go. <laughs> There we go. We're also breaking this Axe Militia unit too. Fantastic. The Sergeant Spearmen are not great. Not like amazing in offense. But they are not bad in defense, are they? Right, let's speed this up. There we go. Let's go and kill them. We have lost control of the city. Well, no, we've not. We've, we've taken it, my friend. Don't, don't you worry, son. Don't you worry, your little head, my friend. Right, we'll get these guys here. I want you to kill them. Go, go, go. And we also got the general, Mr. Uh, Signore da Manegalolo. Yes. I can't remember his actual name. Uh, right. Let's go. General's bodyguard here. Now we just need to wait three minutes. And that's actually a much more efficient way of doing it rather than trying to kill every single other person here. Anyone else? Like, where is there anyone? Anyone else? No. I think that's it then. It's just, just these guys at the front. Who are trying to get back desperately to the town square. But there's so few of them left now. There we go. Is that simply the only guy left? No, there's two praise general's bodyguard. The there we go. Glorious. That one was a lot easier. Wow. We absolutely ruined them. 149 kills for the mailed knights. Wow. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Glorious victory, my friends. And we crashed! So, guys, we did get another crash. It's getting kind of silly now. Like, if anyone knows 
uh, a solution to this NVIDIA problem with the graphics uh, and siege battles, then please do let me know. I mean, the only other thing we can do is just try and, you know, siege settlements down rather slowly and, and take our time and not try and actually do any siege battles them themselves. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. The discipline of this man's army grows weaker every day. What? Really? We just occupied, though. Feels appreciated. Has the king's eye. Okay, he's very loyal as well. Good, 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 good. Right, let's uh, let's repair everything here. And I think, like, like I say, we're just going to chill out here. We did queue in the roads before, so I think we're going to do that again. And, and hopefully we have enough to, you know, hold this region while these guys go on a cheeky little crusade anyway. <laughs> they go on a jolly, basically. Um, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, if anyone does know how to fix that issue, I don't know whether it's something in the bios or anything like that, that I can do that will help it out. Please do let me know. That would be amazing. Uh, right on Verona. I am on the newest version, by the way, the newest patch. Um, and I do run large address aware every time I start the game up. So yeah. Right, grain exchange, I think 1,660 is not great, but I think that's okay. Let's risk it anyway. Also, I think we lost our diplomat, so yeah, let's get our diplomat. Let's try for peace with Serbia now, because we really don't need to be fighting these guys at all. Uh, I mean, I could take this town as well, but... I think that just overstretches us a little bit. And like I say, I want to just chill out for a little bit and, you know, um, try and build up our economy. Because although Venice is so strong, everywhere else is not that strong. We're a little bit weak eco economy-wise right now. So let's end the turn, though, and let's see where we get to. Okay, so Serbia has asked for a ceasefire, and they want a tribute of 750 for seven turns. Honestly... I am willing to take that right now because, like I say, we want a ceasefire with them. We don't want to be at war forever. We also want to get this reputation up. So let's be reliable with them for a little bit. Let's also offer them trade. More 750 for 10 turns for trade. That's going to benefit us both, bro. Okay, maintaining a sufficient garrison represents the most elementary way of keeping settlements under control. They may provide up to 100% public order, which I believe normal game is only like 65, something like that. Keep in mind that each individual soldier improves public order, and therefore large units are proportionally better than small units. Units composed of soldiers not fit for policing duty, i.e. peasants, local troops, and even knights, are half as efficient when tasked to keeping order. A Novograd Home Guard unit provides over three times more public order than unit of peasant archers. The units are effectively 201 versus 60. In huge cities where you need 20 units to prevent rebellion, the largest militia units are thus the most efficient. A general with high dread is also useful in maintaining public order. However, there may arise certain situations where not even these measures are enough. In such cases, you may need to quash rebellion and examine whether public order is being damaged by other factors you have not taken into account. Let's also have a look at what Zara is. 70% Catholic, so yeah, that's good. We are also getting the Catholic up in Raucion right now which is good we've got another spy there i don't think that's too bad an option actually to get a spy let's get our diplomat out do we want to go i mean i want to talk to them and try and get an alliance finally we got the saint john's chapter house in venice now so that does allow us to get these guys which let's have a look absolutely beastly hospitalia foot knights as well beastly jesus <laughs> They are very, very good. Let's also queue in the church. I think in Venice is going to be quite good for us. Successful crusade. 11 units get an experience bonus. Fantastic. Does that mean you're... What? No. That, how, we, we joined the crusade very nicely and, and we did good things, my friend. Why, why do you hate us so much? Well, uh, let's let's leave. Oh, come on. 
So that's that's affecting our goddamn relations now, is it? The fact that we have marched on a crusade. That seems like a bit of an oversight. <laughs> God damn it. So the fact that we march through their lands on a crusade and we've got to march back through them is going to affect our relations. Come on. Really? That just seems a little bit silly. Uh, we've got the Fatimid minister over here. Um, this guy's got a bodyguard. Nice. Mm, Raucion's got a lot of garrisons. Could also do some merging. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, yeah. You get in there. Then you get in there. Let's merge them all together so they're much bigger units. That's going to be nicer going forward. Also, we do need to keep on making this place Catholic. Raucion's building. Ancona's not building, but there's nothing to build there. And Verona... So we've had a couple of nice little battles. Like the first one in this episode was pretty good. But yeah, like I say, a lot of this game is just chilling out, taking your time, managing your economy, building up. And honestly, it's a really nice welcome change of pace. I do love it indeed. So let's end the turn anyway, guys. Although we could increase the tax rate here. Let's do that. Also, we've only got that guy in there as a garrison, which does worry me slightly. Also, has this guy been schooled yet? Yeah, so he is schooled. What about you? Are you schooled now? Good farmer. Ah, fantastic. Very nice. High official. Having been granted a ministerial office. He's a high official. Can tell a tale. Schooled. Has the king's eye. He's aloof. He's an aloof man. He's severe but honest as well. I like this guy. Lots of loyalty and lots of piety. Be nice to get some chivalry as well, but let's end the turn anyway, guys, before I keep rambling on for too long. Management of your ruling family is an important part of the game. First and foremost, you must ensure that not all members of your family die. You have lost the campaign. You can keep your family alive by marrying off your princesses. A new general will be added to the family tree unless your royal princess marries another faction's general. Marrying off your family members who are likely to have children. Adopting generals... They are periodically offered by the game engine or accepting man of the hour, of course. Bear in mind that recruited generals do not show up in the family tree. So, yeah. A new general will be added to the family tree if we marry off the princess. So that's probably the best way of doing it. What? How did this guy die, though? That's what I want to know. He was assassinated. Who in the hell has dared assassinate our boy? Yes. That's insane. He was our favorite guy. No. When do we get his uh, his title back then? That's weird. Honestly, I feel... Okay. Serbia's at war with Hungary. I thought like Pisa was going to attack us then. <laughs> God damn, bro. <laughs> oh, well. Um, I think we go for communal farming here. We could also go for the town hall for the law. Do you know what? Let's let's go for the town hall for the law here. I think that's the best option right now. I'd also like to build in Bologna, but there isn't really anything that's worthwhile. So again, let's just end the turn there and see where we get to. Cool. Mercuria pays back. Interesting. The Fatimids will get a few thousand coins and three units of ferocious warriors come from the south. Okay, cool. Interesting. Hanseatic League begins. Nice. Well, they are a long way away from us. This is the architects of the world, guys. So big thank you to these modders for making such a cool mod. I'll just slowly scroll through this very cool indeed. It is a really fun mod. I tell you what, I've really been enjoying. Um, I've really, really been enjoying the slow pace of the gameplay and trying to force you to be tactical. It's really, really cool. This provides quite so the bloodline. So I, I don't know. Is that the same with a with us, for example, though? Also, we need to somehow get into the College of Cardinals. I don't think we've got. Oh, we do. Oliviero Grassani is a College of Cardinals, so that's that's at least one good thing we've got going for us, <laughs> even though the Pope hates us. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, what were we saying? The Pope really doesn't 
like us at all. We, uh, how are we at war with the the Fatimids and the and these guys? Let's have a look at who else joined the Crusade. Are they still at war? These guys are at war with everyone. I, 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 it said the Crusade was successful, so does that not automatically end that then? Okay, that's, I, I mean, that's fine. There was a truce declared between Hungary and Serbia straight away. So they were like, I am out straight away after the war. Um, but anyway, I think we're going to go for the communal farming here. Like I say, ten, 20 turns and we can build around it. In fact, I would love the library. So when we can afford that, we'll pop in the library. Um, and yeah, Zara's building the roads. Roussillon is building the town hall. Venice is building a... Uh, what's that? Another church. Bologna is building that. And Kona's not building because there is nothing to build. And uh, this army... Can we, can we please, like... If I go there, is that outside of your lands? Are you going to be happy now? <laughs> but anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it there. So I hope you did enjoy, guys. Another nice, chill episode. Uh, if you do have any more tips and tricks, guys, that will really, really help me out in the gameplay. I'm really enjoying just the slow pace and the nice, chilled out pace of the game so far let me know if you like seeing all of these extra bits of building and stuff like that because i personally love doing them but uh, i know some of you guys really enjoy seeing that stuff and some of you don't like seeing it at all so do let me know if you do want to see all of the extra bits rather than just you know uh, editing it down to battles pretty much but anyway guys thank you very much for watching it's been a pleasure as always and i will see you all again on the next video.